Jason. Yes, sir. Share with us Hellboy. All right. So Hellboy uh, is a, a character that a lot of people are familiar with at this point. Um, he's been in uh, various comic series and uh, he was previously in a couple of movies with Ron Perlman, who he is uh, most known for. And this time around, we have a reimagining with a, uh, a character that people are familiar with from the Stranger Things show. Um, whose name is David it? Harbour? Harbour. David, David Harbour. David Harbour. Uh, so, so he's he's a familiar name, but uh, the character, like he doesn't doesn't look much like him when he's all dressed up. At least not to be like he to, to somewhat, but so you know he's costumed. But basically, this is a character we are are generally familiar with. But this story sort of takes place, uh, I guess, towards the end of um, the the arc of the character, comic book wise. Uh, so we kind of pick up with him after we get a little bit of a, a plot point where uh, there's a, a, a sorceress that uh, very, very long ago was involved in a, a grave battle. And uh, she is vanquished at that time. And and basically what's happening is now it's fast forward to the future and she's she's kind of coming back to 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 raise hell. And uh, Hellboy is is sort of getting involved in this this new situation. Um, so we get to meet him and uh, his 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 father, and we get to learn the the story of of kind of where Hellboy comes from, how he's introduced into this uh, this world. Um, it's a different take, and he definitely plays the character in a different way than uh ron perlman uh i will say i think most of us probably all of us were very kind of hesitant with this movie from the the early trailers the kind of portrayal what we saw of it um and i will say that uh his portrayal of the character for me i think is better than i expected but he's He's definitely not playing it the same way as Ron Perlman did. Um, it, 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 there were there was some humor in in the character. I felt there were a lot of times where I think he came across pretty well, but it, it's definitely a different take. Um, and I don't know if people liked this take so much. Um, I don't know what what are what are your guys' initial thoughts on Bride? Um. According to <clears throat> a bunch of reviews that I've read, people like David Harbour probably as their favorite part of this movie. Um, so I don't know that it's not the take that they like. I think they just didn't care for um, the movie as a whole. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, so I'm trying to figure out when I was watching this movie because uh, it, it had like a 10% or whatever on Rotten Tomatoes at the time when we went when I went and saw it. Was it was pretty yeah, it was beat up. like yeah. people the early the early hot take was mm, not so, so good. So so my expectations were floor at the bottom level, of the barrel, <laughs> right? Like at where my feet sit on the if I wasn't reclining <laughs> at the movie theater. Dig another foot under. Um and so it was weird when I actually kind of found myself enjoying the movie. And I know that it's not a good movie. Yeah, it's not a great movie. <clears throat> but um, I really liked, I, I kind of dug the, uh, how violent and gory it was. It just kind of upped the, the uh, what's the word I'm, I'm thinking of? It, it was just trashy, kind of, I guess is the best way I could say it. And I kind of liked that part of it. It kind of comes off as like... <clears throat> It's hard to explain, but I I get what you're saying. There's like a, a certain genre of movie that you're like, sort of like the direct to DVD kind of movies, where like you know it's gonna be bad. It has some better production it's, values than it's than very that, entertaining. But... but you know what I mean, like. But it's that kind of experience where like this yeah. movie is gonna be done poorly. And in and some the plot, sports, but it's gonna the be the plot very... was kind of all over the place. Like I feel like they maybe put too much in it. I feel like they rushed part of it. Yeah, like the I... the there's the 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 
the kind of uh, the the coming back of the the sorceress that pro that the way that happens. Yeah, I felt like that would have been more of a thing, and it's almost like all right, she's back. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's very very quick. So somebody commented that they uh, they like the special effects. I agree with that. I yeah, thought the special effects were really well done, them. with the some, exception some good. of Hellboy himself. The, I was not a fan of the the makeup artistry and and the prosthetics. That's what I said in the the last show. I think I, it was it yeah. just kind of fits on his face wrong. Yeah, yeah. i i didn't I didn't think it worked. Um, very well. I did like the stumps actually. I, see me, it's the eyes, the eyes and the brows, um, is where I struggled with it. Um, and I think part I, of that is because if you look at Ron Perlman's version, I think that I, I remember that being it's better. pretty much like Ron Perlman's face, and he's got fake teeth and yes, horns. Yeah, yeah, yes. And David Harbor, I thought that they, they did make it. Um, I you couldn't tell it was David Harbour as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I do think they hid him a little bit more than what they hid Ron Perlman. No? I, maybe a little bit. Well, yeah, I think you can definitely tell that's Ron Perlman. Voice is a dead dead giveaway. for well, Oh, that, voice, yeah, sure. No, no, sure. I'm talking yeah. the, the, the makeup-wise. Um, I, I did enjoy the humor that they brought into it. Hmm. David Harbour's take on, on Hellboy was really good. Um, bringing in the humor, being kind of a smart ass during it. I, I did like that aspect of it. Um, I did not like the queen, um, the sorceress, yeah. uh, Mila, jo Mila. Uh, Jovovich. A little overcooked. I did not, especially right there at the beginning. I That scene yeah. where she dies and gets The, the prologue apart. is really rushed. Um, it's got yeah. some kind of hokey, so... hokey voiceover narration that I thought didn't work yeah. very well either. Yeah. I didn't I didn't like that at all. Um and I didn't like I didn't like her and she was she was probably my least favorite part of the whole thing. Um mm. her take. I, oddly enough for me the best action scene was like the epilogue at the end. I wish they could have had yeah. some more of that. Um Oh yeah, that right, was good. Right yeah, before yeah. the credits. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was good. Um I liked the scene um where they're fighting in the was it a church? Is it the church that they're fighting mm. in towards the end? Well, yeah. Yeah, library where they're fighting the boar, um, yeah, the, yeah. the giant uh, warthog. Um, I did like that. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool fight scene. And, you know, I thought the giants were well done. Um, the the CGI of the giants. Some of it. Yeah, some of it you could see. Me. Some of it you could see there was a little bit of, um, you could tell it was CGI. But I know. think when they had Hellboy it was and the a Giants fun scene. in the frame good. together, it looked worse than just the Giants by themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah. it was a lot of fun. I liked the... I... Yeah, I didn't think it was a bad movie. I, it wasn't my favorite, but... And was... I, I will say, I think I liked the first, the original Hellboys better. Um, mm -hmm. The Ron Perlman take on them. I, I did enjoy them better, but... But I'm not, I'm not going to hate on this movie and say it was a bad movie. I kind of like. I think it was um, just enjoying the different ways they kill people, which makes me sound like <laughs> yeah. very bad. But it, they get pretty creative with it, and just kind of yeah. like a fun little slasher movie or something that you go and see. Like yeah, I, for the I, bad guy or something. And it, I did it enjoy the violent and... aspect of it too. I'm not gonna lie; yeah. like the violence was pretty cool. Um, it was a lot of fun. I I think I think, and I don't I don't know if it's just the the way I came into the movie where I was like. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a terrible movie, mm. so I'm just going to see it and see what it does. I and I helped. came out finding out like it was a fun movie, like it was an entertaining movie. There's a you know certainly stuff about it that like if you were to compare this to another superhero movie, it's going to fall very short compared. It's not to well the, polished. The average Marvel experience, but on its own, it's it's not a terrible movie. You know, it's the I thought the story on the whole you know the the idea was was interesting um you know execution wise you know they certainly missed a few beats but they definitely left this open for sequel yeah i just unfortunately don't, I don't know if it's gonna happen yet. though i mean the box office was was pretty light it was 12 million opening weekend which um, I think they spent approximately fifty million 50, on it. Yeah, so roughly like 50 that's a million. big nugget to make up over the next couple. And uh, I mean, who knows what the internationals? And that all is 
they international can make some of these bad movies good yeah. <laughs> like alita yeah alita is almost there like in terms of box office i feel like it it's 400 million worldwide it's crazy. and it didn't do very much in the u.s so the, that's kind yeah. of what's keeping its sequel hopes alive but i don't think hellboy will yeah. get there yeah but... i mean that's that's the thing and what's gonna really hurt it is like it's only got like this weekend basically <laughs> like if it doesn't make more money this weekend i mean you still have shazam and some other you know decent movies that people are you know now, riding the capes of and then yeah, we have th avengers coming which is just already crushed the box office the advantage that it has is there's nothing like there's no movie next weekend that i i think is going to have any appeal for one week but you still have shazam out you're right but, else it's out. yeah that's the thing like you there are people that are like who the hell is shazam and then they heard that oh no it's a great movie you know they maybe haven't gotten a chance to go out and see it yet sure you know and then after this weekend anybody that watches superhero movies is going to see the avengers you know yeah. unless for some reason they haven't seen any of the other marvel movies to date and they want to like hold off you know yeah. we've already gotten word that the the pre-sales for this movie are off the charts so it's it's yeah. it's unfortunate because i think if you know if this movie had done better at the box office um and if it manages to squeak out a little bit more i think a sequel you know with better writing and and a different take could could potentially be really good yeah yeah all right well there you go uh maybe a movie that you can rent when it comes out and enjoy it that way um if you don't want to go to the theater to see it